Hi everyone, um, my name is Marine Moati and here is my interview for Diana Dorville. Bonjour and welcome to Diana Dorville. Today I'm very happy to welcome wonderful Marie Moati on board. You can find the whole interview in our podcast on Spotify. Bonne écoute. Um, I have the chance to work for many beautiful luxury houses like Hermès, um, like Van Cleef and Arvers in Paris where I was the Global Communications Director. My spiritual practice is actually putting music on um, and I actually dance on my own and I love it. And that gives me power, um, self-love um, and um, I feel so much better for it and can go on for one hour. We have to rethink and um, be smart and um, see how we can associate ourselves with brands without feeling branded. Everybody has become a model in the past 12 months um, and um, everybody is a photographer. I think all the brands in fashion um, are going to have to shift um, either retail-wise or um, in terms of message through um, social media. And the people I follow on Instagram or the brands I follow are um, people who manage humor, uh, who make me laugh or who teach me things. And I think it's, it's the way that fashion brands are going to go now into more sustainability, into things that people are going to keep. I've always been against throwing disposable fashion. And so what I love in Diana Dorville, for example, is, is the fact that she, her silk, uh, I can really envision myself wearing them in 20 years from now. Um, I, I can see myself growing into it, loving it more, um, you know, silk, natural fabrics. So the three words when I think about Diana Dorville is soft silk, luxury, and a keeper. Um, so I always wanted to be a spy, but nobody ever called me. <laughs> um, and if I was to see my little girl, who I was um, when I was young, what would I tell her? You know, believe in your dream, do whatever you want and, and be happy and keep on dancing. <laughs> so pre-COVID, we did so many things and our lives were so packed with travel. I went to Kshat to see my family, to ski as well. I went to the Louvre in Abu Dhabi for a dinner I organized for an amazing jeweler called Cindy Chow. I absolutely adore what she does. Um, then I went to Maastricht for the Tefa Fair. So I, I guess I miss that, but what I do now, I try to be very disciplined. I wake up very early. I'm an early bird. I only sleep five hours per night. I, I need to be up. I start with dancing. Um, I do my Italian. And um, as I work with Asians, my Zoom calls are usually in the morning. So I start at nine o'clock with, with my clients. Um, and, and I set that up so that, you know, my, my day is, is worked. And I think it's, it's very important to keep a diary and, and um, write down what you're going to do. So the importance of words and, and the way you write structures your days and your weeks, because right now it's very strange to have a fluctuation. And, and I think it's also very important to make a difference between your weekdays and your weekends. Read a book every day to feed yourself, to feed your mind. Um, So at night, I usually cook. When my two sons were with me, um, I loved cooking, although they will say that I'm, I'm a poor chef. Um, but yeah, so keep on going. <laughs> so in my dream dinner, I think I'd invite um, maybe maybe um, Sergei Polunin, um, who you might remember is the bad boy of the Royal Opera House. Mikhail Baryshnikov, because to me is the most inspiring dancer I've ever seen dancing live. Nijinsky, if, if you could res resuscitate, and uh, maybe Andrea Risto, who's a, a young Italian dancer who now uh, dances at uh, La Scala and um, did this amazing, um, amazing campaign for Bottega Veneta that just came out. What would I cook? As I said, I'm a, the worst cook ever. So I would use um, Meraki, which is a Greek restaurant I adore. I'd bake some crepe because I'm sure they've never eaten crepe and I, I make the best crepe ever. I would wear Jardin Suspendu de Diana Dorville because I think it's like very inspiring. It's like fluid. Uh, I love the Palazzo pants. I think it's, you can, you can, you know, receive the hostess. Um, I like that idea of, of receiving a hostess um, to a new outfit. Um, I find it very seducing because it's both, 
you know, good outside, but for inside as well. And you, so if I were to choose one book, um, it'd definitely be The Great Gatsby uh, by Fitzgerald. I know it sounds like super cliche, but for me, it's not. I actually wrote my thesis at Columbia University um, about it. A movie, I would choose The Thomas Crown Affair. I watched the 1968 version uh, with Steve McQueen and Fight and Away. The chess scene is the most erotic scene I've ever seen in my life. Music, oh, right now the music I listen to is Your Train. Um, he's, a, he's a young black musician. I think he lives in Los Angeles and, and I have him on Google on my Spotify. His music is really like uplifting and, and, um, and good vibes and, and, and I love listening to him. So Your Train. <laughs> I love, love, love traveling. This time made me crave to go to New Zealand um, and to Australia. So I'm definitely going to Australia and discover there and stay there for three weeks and, and go around Australia, a whole continent. Thank you for watching me. And if I made you smile or if I taught you anything today or um, you know made it a sunnier day, it um, makes me very happy. Thank you for listening and on to the next episode. You can find all our projects, news and exclusive collections on dianadorville.com and Instagram at dianadorville. From your morning espresso to the red carpet. A bientôt!